Hi Petals, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Aura and thank you so much for tuning in today my loves. So today we do have a pick a card reading and this pick a card reading is for messages that are meant to find you right now. So I have set the intention that if you have clicked on this reading there will be some messages here within these piles for you today to bring you some guidance, to bring you some clarity and also to bring you some confirmation or advice for your situation that you may be in right now. So my loves, we do have three piles today. I was really drawn to using my seaside themed little like shapes and ornaments today. So for pile number one, we have this beautiful turquoise starfish. Turquoise, turquoise, however you like to pronounce it. For pile number two, we have this really cute blue whale. And for pile number three, we have this pink conch shell. Okay, so please pick the pile that you feel most intuitively drawn to. You may pick more than one pile, that just means that there are messages spread throughout the piles for you. If you find that your pile does not resonate with you, please feel free to pick another pile. So if you enjoy this reading today, and if it does resonate for you, please hit that like button. Also hit subscribe if you enjoy my vibe. I truly, truly appreciate all your support. Thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. So without further ado, let's get started with these readings today. And we shall start with pile one. Hi pile one, welcome to your reading. If you chose this beautiful turquoise starfish. This is your reading today for messages that are meant to find you. So I have pulled some oracle cards for you off camera, pile one, but first we're going to start with the tarot, which I will be shuffling and pulling live for you on camera to bring through messages that are meant to find you today. Okay, pile one, so spirit guides. Please tap me into the energy of pile one. Okay, pile one, so I'm immediately being told the word rest, okay, and um, slow down. Um, I feel like, I feel like this is fast, fast paced energy, like rushing, I'm being told rush as well. So I don't know if maybe you have been rushing around before you listen to this reading, or maybe there's something that you are rushing with at the moment. Um, I'm hearing for some of you, you might be feeling like you're running out of time to complete something or to hit a target or achieve something. Um, yeah, that's really interesting. So take that however it resonates for your personal situation, pile one. But let's bring some messages through. Can we please get some messages for pile one? What do they need to hear today? What do they need to hear right now? Got the page of water. Let's clarify that. Thank you. Ooh, thank you. So we have here the page of water intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A new person enters your life, a relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. Okay. And then we have the Ace of Earth, okay? So an inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. One more message, please. Got all pile one. Messages meant to find them right now. Okay, so 
that card did flip over so that's unity so that's the hierophant card and that's archangel sandalphon coming through here and that says traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends and then this one flipped over as well we've got six of wands victory good news is on its way public recognition or awards wow amazing okay so let's just tap into these messages to start with um, okay so we can see here pile one in your past energy there is this energy of sensitivity this artistic creative nature inspired ideas I'm hearing as well I feel like there's definitely an emotional, a strong emotional tinge, I'm hearing the word tinge, um, which is really interesting. It's like, um, I'm seeing like, a, almost like a veil, like a covering of like, um, emotion, emotional attachments. So that can be to do with things that you love, that can be people, that can be ideas, creative projects. Um, yeah inspired ideas things that you might be working towards i'm being told that you have incredible intuition as well pile one and i feel like your intuition has really been pulling you to follow a certain path or direction you may have started a new hobby or gone in a different direction in some area um, and or have been really working on something that is really emotionally connected to you and brings you fulfillment in some way and also for some of you you may have recently have started a new connection in your life so this could be within a relationship you may have um, got into a relationship recently or you might be talking with someone dating someone but also you might have recently developed a new friendship as well um, or some sort of existing relationship within your life, an existing connection has elevated in some way to a new level. Because I'm being drawn here to the background, it's like there's some mountains in the background there and obviously we've got all that water there as well. So it's like something that is strong and solid has kind of like got this new depth to it in some form I hope that makes sense it's like there's been a stronger emotional connection within something here now again this could be within a relationship a friendship even a family member or or even like a project or within yourself as well you may have been really working on yourself pile one for some of you you might have been working on loving yourself more, being kinder to yourself more, but something has really transitioned here. You've started some sort of new phase here. Um, and yeah, it, yeah, it says intuitive and heightened psychic abilities. So for some of you, you might have been tapping into your psychic gifts. For some of you who are intuitives, you are psychics, you are practicing psychics, those abilities have recently um, been going through some sort of upgrade. So I'm being shown dream state as well. Um, so pay attention to your dreams, I'm being told. And for your present energy, we have the Ace of Earth. And that says an inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Yeah, this makes total sense. The, the energy I was getting from the page of water about starting something new. It's almost like you're taking something that you love and you are putting it into you're putting it into motion to be able to create earthly rewards from it so that could be more more than likely financial rewards um you're putting something that you have a passionate um a passionate connection with and kind of like wanting to make it into some sort of business or get some sort of monetary rewards from it and um it's interesting because they're bringing me back to that rest um, that I was told about at the beginning and that um, rushing towards something so you may have yeah been working on something and working maybe on a new business um, trying to 
lay a solid foundation for something that means a lot to you and that's why you're being asked to slow down for some of you this could even be within a relationship here with this hierophant card the unity card you could be wanting to establish a more grounded and more deep deep um, commitment I'm hearing within a relationship so a romantic relationship potentially you're you for some of you this won't resonate for everyone but for some of you you're wanting um, to step up within the relationship to go towards like marriage status engagement for some of you you may be engaged and you're really rushing to try and set the day or you know solidify things and get the contract signed um, but for others of you, I'm, I'm really feeling like you might be starting some sort of spiritual business. You might be you might even be readers yourself like tarot readers or or energy workers i think i feel like you work with energy a lot um because i'm seeing all these orbs around this unity card here and yeah it's you are incredibly gifted within within this field you you can see you can sense energy you can feel energy um yeah my ears my ears are like popping now which is really interesting so that's confirmation right there um for some of you you're you're i feel like for some of you you might not see this right now but you are being asked by the universe by your guides whatever it is you resonate with to step up into some sort of leadership role here. I feel like what it, whatever it is that you've been working on is going to be more in depth and serious that you, than you may have originally thought. And when I say serious, I don't mean that in a negative way. Um, I mean like it's part of your destiny is what I'm being told. And with the six of wands here, victory, good news is on its way, public recognition or rewards. You're being told that whatever it is that you have been working on, you have really been pushing towards or rushing towards, you really need to release any fears or worries around that because you are going to be successful here with the six of fire. And people are really going to look up to you as some sort of leader, some sort of um, a spiritual advisor, someone who can give them answers and guidance to to help them along their journey and to help them um, understand themselves and whatever it is that they are going through. And also if you have been wanting to take your relationship to the next level, I feel like that is going to be successful as well. So try not to push it, just enjoy the journey I'm being told. Let's see here. So on the back of the deck we have renewal and that says review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts time to move in a new direction okay so i feel like some of you have moved in a new direction um, within the past or within the recent past um and i feel like you may feel or have felt a bit uncertain about this um, and some, some of you lacking confidence as well um, and you've really had to go within yourself to really harness um, harness your skills and harness your abilities I'm hearing so for some of you you might have even been doing studying you might have been working on something here something tangible um, and also for some of you your intuitive gifts as well your psychic gifts some of you, you might have even walked away from a connection or walked away from a relationship that you realized did not serve you. And if that resonates for your situation, you are being reassured here that something new is starting. Something new is going to come into your reality that will give you a sense, that will give, not even a sense, it will give you stability and it will give you success and it will give you what it is that you are looking for. So just be patient, try not to force things and just let things flow naturally. Let's have a look at your Oracle cards. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. We've got the connection card there. Yeah, I feel for, for definitely for a, for a large portion of you, this is to do with some sort of connection here within within your life um and i almost feel like i mean 
they're definitely they're on a beach there and that is that is saying to me i'm getting like strong like honeymoon vibes as well and that makes so much sense because we do have the unity card there which is also the hierophant which can talk about marriage and uh, solid commitment here and we have two champagne glasses so it's like they're celebrating something and i'm being drawn to the music notes as well i feel like some of you have recently had a message this could be from a previous partner maybe wanting to reconnect with you for some of you but you're being asked to really be honest with yourself about this connection and, and if it's truly going to bring you what it is that you deserve or if it's time to move on here with this renewal card review and evaluate it says so I feel like this message that some of you may have received, it's like, you need to reflect on that because I'm being drawn to the water and the reflections in the water. It's like, you need to reflect on this and assess the facts of the situation. Remove any illusions, remove any fantasies I'm being told and really assess the facts of the situation. Now that message is not gonna be for everyone but for those of you that that message resonates with, if you do choose to move on, yeah, like I said, just be reassured that you are moving into something something better as well. And for those of you who are currently in a relationship, it's like, just go with the flow here with this music, just let things flow naturally and you will naturally flow into this higher commitment. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have Protection Guardian, drop your shields. So it's like you might be defensive about something right now. Defensive about, defensive with a connection or for some of you, you might be fearful about letting someone in because I was getting that message of a new person entering your life and this could be for friendship as well, just take it how it resonates. You could be on high alert here or high guard because of how you have been treated in the past. Maybe people have taken advantage of you and, and things haven't worked out, relationships haven't worked out, connections haven't worked out and you're being asked to just drop your guard here because you are protected the protection protection guardian has come through and this this guardian here has such strong big wings and it almost looks like it almost reminds me there of like an evil eye amulet it's like for some of you i feel like there's been a lot of envy and jealousy around you potentially people seeing your success and knowing that you are going to be successful and seeing your potential. And you may have not been seeing this potential. I feel like you're someone who is quite humble, someone who might be a little bit insecure in some areas of your belief in yourself and your gifts, but you are protected here. And anyone who is sending you you know, evil eye or jealousy or trying to get in your way. You are protected here by your spirit guides, your guardians. So it's okay to just relax and, and not be on high alert. I'm getting like seven of wands energy coming through here, like a competition, feeling like you have to defend your ground but your, gu your guys are asking you to just release that because they have it all covered. We have here new moon and promise. And again, there's, there's a couple there, like watching out onto the sun, the sunrise or the sunset. And there's a sun set there as well in that card. So I feel for some of you, there's going to be a promise coming in a promise of commitment for some of you you might you might be getting engaged i don't want to do any spoilers spoiler alert <laughs> um and for some of you you were given a promise and you were let down 
And this is why the renewal card is here. Review and evaluate the situation. Assess what it is that you truly deserve. Remember that you deserve to be celebrated here with the six of fire, the six of wands. You deserve to be recognized for your brilliance, I'm hearing. I feel like you are incredibly colorful people. Now, that might be on the outside, you might wear colorful clothes, but for most of you, it's more like on the inside, you have, you have colorful energy, like your aura is really beautiful. And for some of you, there may be a me that message that's coming through might be a promise. Someone might be realizing what it is that they've lost in you or what it is that they might lose in you if they don't kind of step up. And then we have happy family. Wow. Yeah, for some of you, you need to, you need to hear right now that everything is gonna be okay. You are gonna get this happy family that, that you have been longing for, that you have been envisioning, that you have been wanting. For some of you, yeah, again, I'm getting this message of the rush, the rushing. For some of you, you might be feeling like your time is running out and you are being reassured that your time is not running out. Everything is happening in perfect timing. Things are being worked out that you might not be able to see right now, but I do feel like you have a strong intuitive nudge here if you really connect with yourself, that you know deep down that things are gonna work out. And again, what I was saying about the color, and we've got the rainbow here, there's so much color within your aura, within your energy, and you are going to attract that color just hold on to that colour I'm being told because you will attract what it is that you give out and you deserve this happy family you deserve this promise and you deserve the promise to be followed through with and to be fulfilled don't settle for anything less we have here meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces yeah, water energy here coming through. Again, emotion, emotional thing here coming through. I feel like for some of you, I'm hearing emotional roller coaster you might have been through. And I think I mentioned about going within yourself and because meditation and contemplate is coming through. It's like there's something you need to contemplate on, there's something you need to assess. And I feel like there's something you're not seeing here with this new moon. There's something that might be blocked from, from your vision right now. But I'm hearing it's protection for you. You are being highly protected right now, pile one. Wow. <laughs> we have rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. Yeah, you are being asked to get some rest, pile one to withdraw within yourself. I feel like you've been pushing yourself a lot. You've been really striving to achieve something, striving to, to get somewhere. And I'm hearing the outcome is assured as well. It's like you just need to rest, relax, take things easy, let things flow naturally. We then have innovation, new creations. Wow. That's amazing, yeah. You're definitely creating something new. You're definitely creating and birthing new ideas. New goals, new wishes, new dreams, new hopes. You are being encouraged to follow, follow these ideas because they are going to bring you finances, abundance, So keep following your inspired ideas and believe in yourself. These birds here, it looks like there's two owls. Again, which is illuminating to me this energy of your intuition. So really tap into your intuition. I feel like for some of you, you are, this is what you need to hear. One of the things you need to hear is to trust yourself. 
Some of you are going to be signing some new documents. You might be stepping up within a role within your job. Remember to read through the, the contracts, anything that you will be signing, read through thoroughly and being told. Make sure that you are 100% happy and consensual of, of the contract. And, it, and if you are not, don't be afraid to, to comment on that and to, to stand up and you know negotiate, I'm hearing. There's room for negotiation. We then have skunk spirit, know your worth. Yes, exactly. How I was feeling about you might be doubting yourself. You really need to realize how worthy you are of receiving all this abundance here, this new abundance with the ace of earth and this happy family. You are worth this beautiful promise. You are worth this victory and success and your creations and your inspired ideas and passions are worthy of being successful. They are worthy of achievement. You are worthy of achievement. I'm being told the number 54 might be relevant to some of you or the number nine. You might be a life path nine. You might be born on the 9th of a month. You might be born in September. Some sort of anniversary might be on those, those dates. Take that how it resonates. Okay. So I really hope these messages have been beneficial for you, Pile One. I'm going to finish with a affirmation card for you to see what affirmation wants to come through for you today affirmation wants to come through for pile one wow we have i accept that good things come easily i am a super attractor yes you're definitely being encouraged here not to push too hard not to try and be too forceful and not to wear yourself out because some of you might have a limiting belief that you have to really really push hard to achieve and you're being told here to affirm to yourself that good things come easily to you. You don't need to push so hard. You don't need to rush. Take the rest that you need and that you deserve and just let things flow. Put in the action. Don't get me wrong. Things need action. And take the steps forward. But just do it in your own time when you feel comfortable. Don't push yourself to the point of exhaustion, pile one. Okay, I hope these messages have resonated with you today. If you have enjoyed this reading and if this has helped you or resonated with you, please give this reading a big thumbs up. It truly helps out the channel. Please hit subscribe. We would love to have you as part of this growing community. Thank you so much for tuning in today, Pile One, and for blessing me with your wonderful energy. We hope to see you in our next reading. Take care of your lovely selves. Bye. Hi Pile 2, welcome to your reading. If you chose this blue whale, this is your reading today, Pile 2, for messages that are meant to find you. So I have pulled some oracle cards off camera. We will be discovering those together a little bit later, but I'm going to be starting first with some tarot cards to bring through messages that you need to hear right now. What is it that needs to be brought forward and to your attention today pile two we shall find out so i'm hearing the word dreams okay um so i feel like either some of you have been getting some funky dreams recently i've been told i don't know why i use the word funky <laughs> some of you could be getting a bit like wild dreams like crazy dreams but there's some sort of messages in there for you there's some reason for that and you are being asked to evaluate and contemplate your dreams um there's definitely some messages in there and i'm being told symbolism as well so that says to me to take a note of any symbolism within your dreams i'm being shown like a door as well a red door i think for a select few of you watch out for a red door 
that's going to resonate for like maybe one or two of you. But yeah, or for some of you as well, I'm hearing you are focusing on your dreams. Like there's some dream that you have that you are working towards. Like a dream life, a dream goal. Interesting. Let's get started with the tarot. Go some messages for pile two, please. Message meant to find them. Pile two. Message meant to find pile two, please. Thank you. We have the five of air. An, unwi an unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives. Okay. Pile number two, please. The message meant to find them. Message that you need to hear. Thank you. We have the four of fire. Contentment, peace and abundance. Happy home life. The successful completion of a project. One more card, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. We have the Ace of Earth. Wonderful. An influx of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Wonderful. This card also came through for pile one as well. So if you were choosing between pile one and two, you might want to go back to pile one. There could be some message there for you as well as in this reading. Okay. So... Here in your past energy pile two with the five of air, this is really interesting. I'm getting an energy of clashing, an energy of clashing. There might have been some sort of conflict or disagreement. Now, I'm also, I'm hearing two things here, pile two. For some of you, this has been a clashing with someone else or a group of people. And for some of you, this might be a clashing within yourself, okay? Um, something that you might not be wanting to admit or that you had not been wanting to see. Um, maybe for some of you, you might have been beating yourself up, I'm hearing, for a choice that you made that you might regret now. Now, that's not going to resonate for everyone. Please take this how it resonates for you in your personal situation. But this is in your past energy pile too. But there's something that you are being asked to take from whatever this unpleasant situation has been. Um, because there's something here for you to learn. This was a lesson that you were meant to that you were meant to go through. Um, and I feel like it was quite unpleasant for you. And I feel an energy that that this might have been lingering around in your energy field for some time. Um, almost like in the aftermath, I'm hearing, the aftermath of a situation. So it's like, and I'm getting like a weird taste. Like I don't normally taste things that's really weird. I'm getting like, you know, like when you swallow like a tablet, like a painkiller, like paracetamol or something, and it kind of gets like, it dissolves a little bit and it tastes really nasty and bitter. I'm getting that kind of taste, okay? So I feel like something or someone has left a bitter taste um, within your past. Um, but I'm being told that it was necessary and it's not, it's not comfortable. And whatever we have to go through to learn our lessons, it's often uncomfortable and it's often unpleasant. But yeah, it says here, learn from you can what you can from the situation. Yeah, there was definitely a lesson here for you, pile two. And I feel like quite a, a difficult lesson for you to learn. And I feel for some of you, you may have learned people's true intentions as well. I feel like for some of you, you may have had a falling out with someone who you would you did not expect to have a falling out with. I feel like for some of you, someone might have turned on you as well. And you didn't expect it from this person. But things are moving on now. Things are... That is going to be left in the past. So for some of you, you, you have already overcome this. And for others of you, it is still lingering. But you are needing to hear today that it's not going to be forever, you know the energy is getting pushed away I'm, I'm being shown a broom it's like being swept away okay so that you are going to move on from this 
we then have the four of fire in your present energy pile too and that says contentment peace and abundance a happy home life the successful completion of a project so things are looking up and looking more stable for you pile two if you have not if you do not feel this right now you are going to feel this real soon um there's some stability coming here for you some reassurance um within tan something tangible within your life so this could be relationships it could be within your work your career even there's just some sort of stability and I'm, I'm also hearing like emotional and mental stability as well i know th that this isn't water energy and this isn't air energy but i'm just getting that that's the energy that i'm feeling right now and I feel like it's got a lot to do with your your energy. Like your energy is so important right now, pile two. So you really need to be careful of protecting your energy because your energy is so powerful and I feel like it's more powerful than you realize it is. I feel like you absorb a lot of other people's energies as well and it gets mixed in with your own, but you are a powerhouse, I'm being told. You are a powerhouse, pile two. You have the ability to transmute energies, to rise above whatever it is that is thrown at you and to create. You have the ability to create, pile two. You have a strong power within you. And I feel like a lot of you don't, you, you know you're strong, but a lot of you don't realize how strong you are. Yeah, you're going to be successful within something and you're going, whatever it is that you are working on, whatever it is you are putting your energy, your passions, your inspirations into, whatever you are putting action on, you are going to be successful in this. And it's going to give you stability in all areas of your life, emotional, mental, physical stability, within you know your home life your finances that's lovely you're gonna you're gonna feel contented and it's like you need to remove outside energies and really assess who it is that is in your your tribe your your team your friendship groups colleagues anything that like, you need to assess these energies and and remove what is not suitable for you, what does not vibe with you. And I know that's really difficult because we can't always cut some people out of our lives, but it's setting boundaries with them, I'm hearing. Making sure you're setting boundaries with them and energetic boundaries as well. So in your future energy pile two, we have the Ace of Earth, which is which is really beautiful. And that says the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So you're stepping into a future of stability, of really being able to set solid foundations for your future whatever it is that you have been working on, whether it's achieving a higher position within your job or maybe a, a business of your own, you are gonna be successful, successful with that. If you have been working on your home life, your family, your relationships, it has a new start, a new beginning with something that has the potential to grow to grow strong roots, to, to build stability for your future. Wow, yeah, on the bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. Yeah, you are in a strong period of transition, I'm hearing pile two. And stability financial rewards are going to be coming in there's going to be some sort of new opportunity coming through for you if it hasn't already and you are being encouraged to take it because i feel for a lot of you there's been you've been unhappy in some area of your life 
and that there is a new door opening up. Yes, exactly, that's why I was being shown a door. That makes complete sense. There's a new door opening. And it's like, if you want things to change, you need to step through this door and you need to go for it. And whoever you need to leave behind that has been holding you back, so be it. Wow, there's career advancement here within an established career or within a business, like I was saying, of your own. And you are more than capable of doing that pile too. Okay, let's look at your oracle cards. So the first card here, we have maturity. Yeah, I feel like you have done a lot of growing, pile two. You have done a lot of growth. And I feel like for some of you, with these books in the background, you've been doing a lot of studying as well. Now, this could be towards um, your career, where it is that you want to go with your, your working life. But I'm also being told within yourself as well. And I'm being told the Akashic Records... So for some of you, you've been tapping into the Akashic Records. And for some of you, you've been, you've been doing it without realizing in your dream state. Yes, oh my God, this is making so much sense, your dream state. Exactly, dreams, I was told that, wasn't I, at the beginning? Yeah. You have some sort of guide that has been helping you with this. It looks like some sort of you know astral entity there wise wise ancestor and this white feather here that this person is draw writing with it's like protection and with the white candles it's like there's a lot of light around you a lot of light energy and i feel like there's a strong masculine guide around you pile two that's coming through strongly that has been that has been guiding you and helping you mm, beautiful wow we have the druid hold the space look look how similar these two people look with that white hair and the beard This is a wise elder here. You definitely have a masculine guide, some sort of masculine guide around you who is, is helping you. Now, for some of you, this is an ancestor of yours. But they are asking you to be confident in yourself and your abilities to trust in your path to trust that you are being led in the right direction and that whatever it is that has been thrown in your way, any obstacles, trust that you have the ability and the power. Do you remember me saying you have power? You have the power and the ability to overcome them and to graduate, I'm hearing. Pile two, I feel like you are here in this incarnation. This is getting really deep right now, but I feel like you are here in this incarnation, pile two, to really evolve and really step up. Step up within your soul, soul elevation, soul maturity, soul ascension, I'm hearing. And this guide is helping you to stand your ground as well and, and possibly even set boundaries. We then have Eagle and Communion. Now this to me, Pile 2, is a strong card of a spirit guide here. There's some sort of communication that you have been having. And this is reminding me of a moon here. And I don't usually see this, but they're telling me this is like a moon. And it's like... in your dream state, yeah. For some of you, a birds, birds might be significant. You might see a lot of birds. 
there's definitely a strong ancestor guide coming through here who works with you and communicates with you and wants to come together with you to co-create, I'm hearing, co-create your, your best life and to co-create your abundance and not just physical and tangible abundance but spiritual abundance as well and spiritual growth. You are capable of so much, Pile 2. We then have a door to personal healing and happiness. Wow. Yeah, you need to hear right now, Pile 2. A message that is meant to find you is that healing is taking place. So I feel like for some of you, you have some wounds within your heart chakra I actually have my hand over my heart right now and I'm just gently kind of like rubbing my heart in like a circular motion I don't know why I need to tell you that um but it's like there's some healing that is happening on your heart chakra and for any of you who have been having like illnesses or you know have been struggling with your health healing is coming through um your guys want you to ask them to help you ask them to help you to heal to transmute any pains and hurts and upsets because you are meant to overcome this and it is meant to make you stronger you are going to be coming into a time of happiness of new beginnings of fresh inspirations of fresh blessings as well i'm hearing we then have expect powerful change new moon eclipse wow yeah exactly it says here in the ace of fire change your life now there's definitely a huge shift coming for you pile two there's a new change here something is shifting within your reality i'm hearing for some of you you might even work on timeline jumping that is just for a select couple of you that's not going to resonate for everyone so don't worry if that does not resonate for you but i'm being shown that type of energy it's almost like you're not you're not going to see this coming it's going to be like you're going to look back and the change is going to be that drastic it's like you're not going to recognize your old life it's going to be like i'm being told you're going to look back on your previous years and it's almost like it's going to be like a past life for you i hope that makes sense it's almost like that doesn't feel like you anymore or doesn't feel like your life anymore like your life and your soul has transitioned and like grown so much and evolved so much that it's going to be like unrecognizable Wow, there's just so much power within this reading pile too. I'm absolutely loving this energy. Yeah, wow, we then have healing heart. You're a powerful healer, keep up the great work. Well, that just makes so much sense as to why I was holding my heart center. There's definitely healing going on within your heart. This is just confirmation. Yeah, whatever it is that's hurt your heart is going to be healed. And also, Pile 2, you are an incredible healer yourself. You help to heal other people, whether you realise it or not. I feel like it's just your energy that you emit, the energy that you give out. It, you've just got like, like this healing aura that just kind of like permeates other people. And when you are this type of energy, when you are this type of soul... You really need to be mindful to take extra care of yourself and really, yeah, really set those boundaries because I feel like you, you might attract, you will be more prone to attracting people who might take advantage of that pile too. And I'm being told cleanse as well. Cleansing is really important for you. So cleansing your energy, cleansing your space, because you may absorb other people's energies quite easily. Again, that a similar message came through for pile one, 
Um, so yeah, that, that pan might also resonate with you or there might be a message there for you somewhere. We then have Divine Masculine Electric Active Power. Yeah, there's definitely a masculine energy coming through here. And I feel like if you are not a Divine Masculine yourself, this is je definitely just another confirmation for this masculine spirit guide ancestor who is coming through here for you. This guide has so much power and is working with your inner power to create electric sparks and electric outcomes. I'm being told some of you might have been you know when you touch something and you get like electric shocks, it's like the spark just kind of like emanates and it's like, oh, you got like an electric shock. You just like, even if you just like touch the chair, the arm of a chair or something, you just get a little electric shock out of nowhere. It's, it's like that. It's like there's so much power within you pile two and it, it really just wants to be utilized. So you really need to follow your inner guidance, your passions, and you need to get this energy out. You need to put it into your creative passions, your pursuits, your goals, um, the some, whatever it is that you want to work on or that you are being guided to work on, you are meant to put all your, all your energy and passion into that because it's going to create, I'm just seeing sparks being sparked up it's like there's something here that just has so much potential for you pile two we then have squirrel spirit believe in yourself yes believe in yourself pile two if you ever have any moments of self-doubt any moments of you might not be capable or anything like that you're being asked to release them Maybe squirrels as well are significant for you. And they're really, really, really showing me to these nuts here that the squirrel's sitting on. So for a select few of you, that is gonna rest like nuts, walnuts or something. Maybe some of you like to eat nuts, like snack on them. I don't know why that's coming through, but they're pointing that out to me. And also um, fall time as well. Um, fall time or autumn um there's something about fall time or autumn time yeah interesting wow these have been really beautiful messages today pile two just to finish off your reading pile two i'm going to get an affirmation for you for an affirmation that you need to hear today message an affirmation message for pile two please we have when i'm in a state of appreciation i'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature my true love nature yeah you've definitely got this loving nature around you um, pile two and I feel like a lot of you are very thankful and you do practice gratitude and appreciation and you are being um, given confirmation that this state of gratitude and appreciation is really helping you to step through into these other timelines and the, the, these blessings that are coming through for you so strongly here. I just want to take a moment as we close off your reading pile two to thank your spirit guide here this this masculine spirit guide ancestor who has come through today in your reading thank you for being here we appreciate you and also pile two i appreciate you greatly if you have enjoyed this reading today if it has resonated please hit that like button also please subscribe it really truly helps out the channel and i really appreciate your support so so much from the bottom of my heart so thank you in advance we hope to see you in our next reading pile two. Thank you for tuning in today and for blessing us with your wonderful energy. Take care of your lovely selves. Bye. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this pink conch shell, 
this is your reading today for messages that are meant to find you. So pile three, I have already shuffled some oracle cards for you and we will be discovering those together in a little moment but we will be first starting with the tarot cards today pile three to bring through messages that are meant to find you right now to bring you guidance, clarity or some sort of confirmation or something to bring you through messages that you need to hear right now, pile three. Okay, pile three, so as I'm tapping into your energy, I'm being given the word illumination, illumination, illuminate. So I feel like for some, I feel like there's something that is going to be illuminated or brought to light or that may have happened recently for you. You might have recently found something out that you hadn't previously seen or there's something that is going to be illuminated for you, Pile 3. And I'm being shown like an illumination of, um, of someone's body as well. So for you, you might be getting some sort of glow up within yourself within your physical appearance or within your your spiritual um within your spiritual energy and your spiritual body within your aura there's just something that is uh, being illuminated um so take that however it resonates for you pile three um but let's get into your reading and bring some messages through for you with the tarot cards to start can I get some messages for pile three, please? Messages that are meant to find them, pile three, thank you. Wow, yeah, that makes sense. We have the high priestess. Listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. Yeah, okay. Messages meant to find pile three, thank you. We've got the eight of air. An illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Okay. One more message, please. For pile three. It's meant to find them. Message that's meant to find them, please. Pile three. One more message for pile three. Thank you. We have ego there, a full sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Okay. We have Ace of Earth on the bottom of the deck there. Now, the Ace of Earth has come through for each three piles today. Every single pile has received this card. Um, so this tells me that your overall energy is a beginning of something here. There is a new start here um, within something tangible, within um, finances, career, some sort of stability in your life, like could even be a new home, um, a new place of living, of residing, I'm hearing. Um, some sort of new contract, some sort of new position within a job. I'm being told to shuffle one more time and to get a clarifier for the ego card there. Can we please get a clarifier for the ego card? Thanks. We have the Queen of Earth. That says, thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Okay. Interesting. Right, okay. So when your past energy pile three, we have the high priestess card. And that does make a lot of sense for what I was seeing about illumination, okay? I feel like something has been illuminating your intuition. I feel like you are being shown something um, through your intuition and for some of you psychic gifts as well i'm being shown clair or clair audience clair cognizance and clair sentience in particular okay um 
yeah, there's something that has been illuminated to you and you are being asked to trust your intuition. So please take that however that resonates for you. For some of you, you might have some, some sort of intuitive feeling about something, about a situation, about a person. And I feel like you might have been ignoring that because in your present energy, we have the eight of air here, an illusion of being trapped or lack of self-confidence and afraid to take action. So it's almost like whatever this intuitive hit is, um, it's like you're stuck in a way. Um, it's like you're afraid to either listen to this intuition or it's like you don't know how to how to go about it like you don't know how to approach it I'm hearing you don't know what to do about it but with the eight of air here it all talks about an illusion of being trapped so it's like you do have the answers here because I'm being drawn to this angel having a book there you do have the answers within yourself you are incredibly intuitively gifted psychically gifted and incredibly powerful as well and i feel like there's some it's something that you haven't been speaking on so there's something you know deep within you that you haven't been speaking on um or or even admitting to so please take this however it resonates for your situation this will be different for everyone and in kind of like your near future energy we have the ego card here um which is also the devil card in the tarot a full sense of entrapment again with this entrapment this energy of being trapped being overly focused on material things or negative or fear-based thoughts. I feel like there's something that you are quite fearful about, something you are quite nervous about, that maybe you are thinking about how something is going to turn out in the future. And this could be to do with this knowledge that you know, this intuitive feeling, this just this knowing that you have about something, someone, this could be within yourself, it could be external with other people. And it's almost like you don't know what to do with that information. Um, and it's making you feel trapped in some way and also probably overthinking as well, like overthinking things to a point where it's almost like gotten out of hand for some of you. And it's like, you don't know, don't know how to overcome this. But with this saying an illusion of being trapped and then a full sense of entrapment, it's like this isn't real. It's it's kind of all in your head in a way, pile three. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way whatsoever. It, I do this all the time. We all do it. We overthink things and it's almost like we work things up to a point where it's it's kind of like this the problem has like doubled tripled quadrupled in size and it doesn't need to be like that it's like with this clarified here by the queen of earth thoughtful creative warm and sensible you are being asked to tap into this energy that you hold within you pile three now it says queen of earth but this doesn't have to be um, male or female, it's just the energy, okay? So it's just the energy that you hold within you inherently. And it's it says here, take a sensible approach. So it's like, you need to be, um, you need to take this in a, in a sensible way, like stop overthinking um, and, and don't doubt yourself as well, thinking that you can't deal with this, you can't cope with whatever this is because you can pile three, you have the strength. The queen of earth is an incredibly strong queen. And again, masculine and feminine, it, re it doesn't matter, take it how it resonates, um, but they are incre an incredibly strong um powerful energy and you are able to take um whatever information it is and um and just deal with it in a constructive way and that's what you are, are being asked to do it's it's removing the overthinking the feeling of being trapped because you are not trapped you you have a way out pile three if you feel trapped with something right now it's all an illusion and that is what you need to hear today that is one of the things you need to hear today 
On the back of the deck, we have the Queen of Water, tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Again, with the intuition here, and the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Water is an incredibly psychic person, okay? Um, an incredibly intuitive person and really in tune with their, their, their intuition basically. Um, so there's something that you need to intuitively um, follow here and have the knowing and the security that you can handle whatever this is, pile three. So let's have a look at your oracle cards. We have the Divine Feminine. This is, this is amazing because we have here the Queen of Earth, the Queen of Water, and then the Divine Feminine. So I feel like, I'm just gonna cover that up because I've just noticed, you know, it's a bit, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit, um, what's the word? A bit too um, showy there. <laughs> Um, I didn't realize that card had that. Um, so yeah, the divine feminine here. So if you are a divine feminine, you are being asked to really um, tune into this, this inner feminine of, of birthing, birthing things, birthing your ideas, your creative ideas, I'm being told. You are incredibly creative, which makes sense because we, it says here with the Queen of Earth, creative. There's some, there's so many creative ideas that you have. And we did see that Ace of Earth as well in the tarot cards previously. So it's like birthing something new into this world that's tangible because we can see here with the, she's got like roots, like tree roots coming out of her crown chakra. Um, there's so many ideas that you have, pile three, that have roots that, that can be rooted. And not only can they be rooted, but they can um, bear fruit here, ripe, beautiful, gorgeous, juicy, succulent fruit. Um, and I'm being drawn to the parrot sat on this person's shoulder there. It's almost like watch the words that you tell yourself as well, because um, I'm being told that whatever it is that you're telling yourself is what's going to come back to you. So if you are telling yourself that you are not strong, you are not capable, I couldn't achieve that, that couldn't work out for me, that is what's going to come back to you because parrots speak what they hear. Um, if we say something, a parrot may repeat that back to us. So it's like, it's this it's this give, this give, this outward give and this inward inward receive. So it's like you want to make sure that you are giving out what you want to receive because you are you are um, incredibly capable of manifestation as well. I'm hearing you are very strong spiritually. You have strong spiritual gifts of intuition and manifestation. Um, they are showing me the magician card within the tarot. Um, so yeah, just be careful about the words that you speak to yourself. Um, and this goes for masculine and feminines as well. If you are tuning into this reading and you are not a feminine, that's completely fine. You're just being asked to tap into this energy within yourself because we all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Oh, wow. We then have the high priestess. Oh God, you could not, like you can't make this up. And that sits under the high priestess. I mean, yeah, a double high priestess. Um, you are incredibly intuitive. And I, I feel like for some of you, you have, for some of you, a select few of you, you may work with Egyptian deities, Egyptian guides. You may have a strong connection with Egypt, an interest with Egypt, um, because I'm being drawn to, um, being shown Isis there, and I'm being shown Bast as well, Bastet. Um, and we've got the Ankh there, um, the symbol of life. Um, and that makes so much sense with the, the divine feminine about birthing new things. There's, there's life here in something um, that you are being, uh, 
asked to harness you are yeah exactly harness mystic power yeah you have such incredible power pile three wow this is just so beautiful and you are being asked to have confidence in that okay so um try and get out of this energy of, of being restricted with the eight of air and the ego card here because it's a it's all false okay um it's almost like you doubt your gifts you doubt yourself too much pile three and you need to hear today to stop doubting yourself because you are just so incredibly beautiful as a soul um you have so much to give and you have so much to receive as well okay beautiful wow we then have ancestors generations yeah i'm being told you have done this for generations you these intuitive in these intuitive gifts that you have these psychic abilities this this power within you has come through from past lifetimes um, and it's something that you have been working on and for some of you as well in previous lives you were priestesses you were high priestesses um or some sort of high priest um in a previous life and you are bringing through this magic and i feel like for some of you you've had this we well, all of you have had this from day one from your from being born within this life but i feel like a lot of you may not have realized until later on in life your gifts your intuitive gifts your psychic gifts and your power within you and i feel like it's now coming out and it's like you have you have ancestors strong ancestors and guides on your team you may resonate with pile two because i'm getting a similar message to what happened what came through in pile two so if you were drawn to pile two as well after this reading go back and check that one because i feel like there's going to be a message for you there as well um but yeah you have ancestors working with you and i feel like real close relatives to you as well so um, if any of you have passed on grandparents um, they are really working with you to to harness these gifts and harness this power and get out of this energy that you are not capable you are not good enough this restriction i feel like there's an energy of restriction around you um, that may be like trying to um, hide your abilities um, and you're, you've really been drawn to step into them. For some of you, you need to have a cleanse, an energy cleanse to help remove any of, of any dense energies that, that might have, have kind of um, permeated your aura um, from, from others or any kind of like, um, anyone around you that might not have wanted you to kind of tap into this. You might have someone around you who is against spirituality, um, and they've seen this, these gifts within you and they've not wanted them to come through. They've not wanted you to realize them. They've not wanted you to see them. That's for a select couple of you there. So if that doesn't resonate for you, that that's okay. Oh my gosh. We then have the woman holding a coin. Another feminine energy coming through. Wow. This is strong, powerful, feminine energy in this pile. And again, if you are not a feminine, if you do not identify as a feminine, that's okay. Um, for this card in particular, if you are not a feminine, this means that there is someone around you who is going to help you and aid you in some sort of financial endeavor here, some sort of financial um, stability and increase i'm hearing so watch out for any feminine connections around you um that you feel could could help you this could be a boss it could even be a sibling uh, a friendship or even a relationship a feminine a feminine person around you has is going to be helping you okay so take that however it resonates and if you identify as feminine you are capable and you are meant to achieve great wealth in this life through your spiritual gifts so you may be a tarot reader yourself you may be you may work with um within your psychic gifts mediumship i'm hearing as well for some of you and it's like 
you just need to let these gifts out. I feel like you might have been holding them in, not wanting to um, acknowledge them or um, see them, but you are meant to. You are meant to harness these gifts, pile three in this lifetime. And we did see the Ace of Earth as well, which, which is the Ace of Pentacles, which talks about finances. And we've got a woman holding a coin here. And for some of you, a black cat might be significant so you might have a black cat but also black cats oh yeah exactly there's there's a black cat there we've got bast there coming through and there's a black cat there so again another confirmation if you work with bast the goddess egyptian goddess bast or bastet she's coming through strongly in this reading i just want to thank bast for coming through here yes yeah, and, and if you are open to working with deities Bast would be a really good one for you to connect with. And she is a goddess of... She is a goddess of um, protection of the family, protection of women in particular, protection of the family, and of course she is protection of cats as well. <laughs> That's why she, she is a cat um, deity, a cat goddess. So if you have cats... Um, you would be really benefit. It would be really beneficial for you to call upon Bast, especially if you are worried about any um, any protection here. If you're worried about anything to, around your cats, that's only going to be for a couple of you. Bast is work is, is calling through for you here. Wow, amazing. We then have communication is key, new moon in Gemini. So for some of you, you may be a Gemini, you may have strong Gemini placements. Your moon might be in Gemini. Hmm. Communication is key. So there's something here that you need to communicate. I feel like you might be holding back, communicating something and yeah, exactly because remember what i was saying about you might have found something out and you you have kept it to yourself you're not meant to keep it to yourself you're meant to approach it and communicate it but do it in a way that you know you feel comfortable in you know don't push yourself too much to the point where you know you're having a panic attack that's not what i'm saying but you just need to call upon your spirit guys for support within this because I feel like it's not as bad as you have maybe worked worked up in your mind to be we then have dream big let go of small thoughts about yourself see yourself succeeding yes yes dream big you are meant for so much pile three you really need to dream bigger there's something, you are capable of so much, like I was saying, you are capable of, I'm also hearing generational wealth, generational success, generational abundance, it's almost like you have a strong ancestral team around you cheering you on saying, yes, you can go for this, we, we're relying on you to, to pull through with this, whatever this is, they couldn't do it, but you can. You are capable of this. Let yourself dream big. See yourself succeeding. Release this illusion that you are not good enough, that you cannot handle it, you cannot do it, because you absolutely can, Pile 3. And this is exactly what you need to hear today. We then have brilliant beliefs. Luminous life force and personal power. Exactly exactly luminous luminosity that's the same kind of any luminous illuminate yeah i had that word illuminate and then we've got luminous life force exactly you have a luminous life force within you pile three and you're meant to harness that you're meant to jump into your inner your inner jaguar, your inner roar, I'm hearing. You've got a lot of roar inside you. And I feel like you may have been suppressing that. 
to appease others, to keep things balanced, to not want to upset other people. But you're, you're not supposed to do that. It's okay if you trigger other people by being you. If you are being positive, you are putting out positive intentions. If you trigger people because they might be jealous of you or, you know, they might not be able to achieve what you can achieve. And I'm hearing for some of you par parents as well, parental guide, parental guides may have this, this feeling of, well, if I didn't do it, you can't. If I couldn't achieve it, you can't. And it's like you're being told no. You are meant for more. We then have Fox Spirit. Think on your feet. The number 27 might be... Might be... Um, might resonate for you. And it's interesting because I'm being told the number 45 adds to 9. The number 27 adds to 9. You might, number nine might be significant for you. You might be seeing 999, repeating nines, something like that. Take that how it resonates. But yeah, I feel like something might, a communication might be coming in from someone here. And it might, it might involve you thinking fast, thinking on your feet. But you are being reminded that you can handle this and just be yourself. Just speak your truth. Because I feel like you've been holding something back for too long here, Pile 3. And it's okay to speak your truth and communicate how you feel. But yes, yeah, something's going to be coming through that's going to cause you to, or need you to think on your feet. And this could be to do with because it's sat under this woman holding a coin here. So for some sort of business venture or, or something to do within finances and career. Mm. Okay. But I'm being drawn, reminded again about this dream big. Just remember that you are capable, Pile 3. You have such strong power within you. I can't believe the High Priestess came out twice incredible this has been a really lovely reading pile three i hope this has brought you some guidance today we're going to finish off your reading with an affirmation card that will be beneficial for you right now Can we have an affirmation card for pile three please thank you yeah each time i choose to tune into spirit guidance of the highest truth shows up for me and they want me to put that under the high priestess the highest truth the highest truth the high priestess the high priestess and the high priestess knows the truth so tuning into the guidance of your your to spirit and your inner spirit as well you are able to tap into the truth, pile three. And it's okay to follow that and to believe that and to trust as well. Wow, this has been an incredible reading, pile three. If you have enjoyed this reading and if it has resonated for you, please give this a big thumbs up. It truly means a lot to me. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. It means everything to me from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We hope to see you again in our next reading pile three. Take care of your lovely selves. Bye.